In this video, we'll be taking a look at the solution to the AB Calculus AP exam from 2010, free response question number three. The main topics assessed are area accumulations, rate comparisons of rate in versus rate out and how they compare, um, as well as the idea of optimization. So the graph that they give you in this problem is a graph of R of T, which represents the number of people per hour that arrive uh, in line at an amusement park. So if I take the integral from 0 to x of R of T dt, that will give me the change in the number of people that arrive in line from 0 to whenever. I'm calculating it. So, change the number of people who arrive. And because of the fact that this particular graph is all above the x-axis, not only does it represent the change in the number of people, but it represents the total number of people that have arrived from zero to whatever. So, in the first time, uh, first problem, we're asked to find the number of people that arrived in the first three hours. Well, it's the integral from 0 to 3 of r of t dt. So in other words, we're looking for the area under this graph between 0 and 3. So I've counted that there are 14 full boxes plus the top, um, the top portion, which represents one more box, and then the portion between 2 and 3 up top, which represents an additional box. So 16 boxes total. And each of those boxes represent 200 people. And the reason this represents the number of people is because we have people per hour times number of hours gives us number of people. So in other words, there were 3,200 people that arrived in the first three hours. Now, we're told that people get out of line and onto the ride at a constant rate, which I'm going to call L of T, of 800 people per hour. So I've sketched a graph of what the rate of people leaving the line looks like. So now, if I'm trying to determine between time 2 and 3 whether or not the line was increasing in length, then I want to look to see if the rate at which people are, are arriving in line is greater or less than the number of people that are leaving the line. So, between two and three hours, the rate at which people are arriving in line is greater than 800, as you can see from our graph, that the black line is above the red line. So, in other words, more people are getting into the line between two and three hours than they are leaving it. Hence, this means that the population of the people getting in line is increasing between time t equals 2 and t equals 3 hours. So let's once again take a step back here and examine the situation overall. The rate of the change of population in line is equal to the rate of people arriving in line minus the rate of people leaving the line. So therefore, p prime of t, the population, the change in population, equals r of t minus l of t the rate arriving in line minus the rate at which they're leaving the line. So P of T, the population in line, will have a critical point when P prime of T is equal to zero. In other words, when R of T is equal to L of T. So let's take a look back at our graph. Here's L of T, which is a constant rate of 800 people per hour. At T equals three is the only location where the rate at which people are arriving in line is equal to the rate at which people are leaving the line. Before t equals 3, you will see here that the rate at which people were arriving in line was above the rate at which they were leaving, which meant that the population was an increasing function. So 
how the number of people were increasing between 0 and 3. However, from 3 to 4, and actually 3 and beyond, the rate at which people were leaving the line was greater than the rate at which people were arriving. Therefore, the population function itself of people in line is going to be decreasing. Hence, at t equals 3, you had a change in your population function. And the population function went from increasing to decreasing. Therefore, at t equals 3, the population should have had a maximum amount. So let's look at this once again. P of t went from increasing before t equals 3 to decreasing after t equals 3. Therefore, p, equals, p of t had to have had a maximum value at t equals 3 hours. In other words, the line was the longest at t equals 3 hours. So let's go right back to our graph here and see that once again. So as you can see, p prime of t is equal to the rate at which they're arriving minus the rate at which they're leaving. The critical point is the place where that quantity is zero, so where the two things are equal to each other, which is at t equals three hours. And since p of t went from increasing to decreasing, in other words, curve was above the red line and then below, makes it a maximum at t equals three. Now, the next portion of the problem wanted you to find information about what was the actual maximum number of people in line. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first write down how many people were in the line at the very beginning. So, the gates opened, and there were already 700 people that were standing in line when the gates opened. So, I take the amount initially, so my population initial, which is P of 0, which is 700, and I add to that the change in the population, in other words, the number of people that arrived between 0 and 3 hours, minus the number of people that left from 0 to 3 hours. So, the number of people that arrived was what's highlighted up in the graph, that area in orange which we already calculated in part A to be 3,200. And the number of people left is the area of this yellow region, which is 800 times 3. So overall, the total number of people that are in line at 3 hours, which is the largest population in line, will be 1,500 people. And finally, in the last part, part D, we wanted to know when was the population of people in line equal to zero? Okay, so in other words, we wanted to know when the 700 people that were initially there plus the change in the addition of population from zero to T of your R function got in line, take away the people from zero to T who got out of line, so in other words, we have our initial amount and our total number of people that arrived, which would be the integral from 0 to t. And we have to subtract from that the total number of people over that time interval that had left. And we are going to set that equal to 0. Now, that third component of this statement, we can see that uh, the third piece the integral from 0 to t of 800 dx, if we actually take the antiderivative of 800, we get 800 t. All right. And so our final response to that would be 700 plus the integral from 0 to t of r of x dx minus 800 t equals 0.